What's up, I'm Vin, and today I wanna to show how to find the side length of a square inscribed in a right triangle. So we have this right triangle here, and we're told the two legs are 12 and six units long, and we wanna find the length of the side of the square inscribed. So there's a few ways we could go forward with this, but since we have a square inside, that means that this is a right angle over here. We have a right angle here, and then we have a whole bunch of right angles just all around like this. So these are all the right angles in the diagram. And now what that's gonna tell us is that this right triangle here, this right triangle here, and the big right triangle are all similar because they all have matching angles. Now, the way I know that is that this angle over here that I'm marking in purple, notice that because we have a square, these sides are parallel. And when you have parallel lines cut by a transversal, the corresponding angles are the same. So notice the small, medium, and big triangle have a 90 degree angle and this angle indicated by this purple mark here. So once again, these three triangles are all similar. So then what I would do here to find the length of the side of the square is I would label each side with an X. So we have an X here and we have an X here. Now what we were told is that the entire length of this leg is 12. So that would mean that this piece is going to be 12 minus X units long. Because think about it, if the entire thing is 12 and you did 12 minus X plus X, that's just going to give you 12. So then from here, what we could do is I could just draw these triangles separately. So we have the big triangle like this, and let's just make sure that's a little bit neater. So we have this big right triangle here, and this is going to be 6 and 12. And now this medium right triangle, notice that the medium one, one of the sides here, the, the leg, is length x because that's sitting on the square like this. And then this vertical leg we could call 12 minus x. So then what we could do from here is we could set up a proportion. So we know these two triangles here are similar. So we could say that 12 over 6 is equal to, we have 12 minus x over x. So I'm comparing the vertical leg to the horizontal leg. That has to be the same as in this triangle, the vertical leg over the horizontal leg. So now we just cross multiply and we're going to have 12x equals, we have 6 times 12 is 72 minus 6 times x is going to give us minus 6x here. And now if we just, uh, we'll write this equation over here and solve. We have 12x equals 72 minus 6x. Now just add 6x to both sides. And this tells us we have 18x equals 72. After these terms cancel, now just divide by 18. And the length of the side of the square inscribed in the right triangle is 4 units long.